Welcome to ALSA Academy 9. I'm Yusr. And if you are struggling with speaking, please watch this video till the end as I'll show you a band 9 answer. So let's get started. The all speaking test is a face-to-face -face interview where the examiner evaluates your answer according to four criteria. These four criteria are called the speaking band descriptors, which you should know to be well prepared for the test. Now I'll walk you through these band descriptors. Fluency and coherence, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy, pronunciation. For the first descriptor, fluency and coherence. The examiner checks your fluency, which means you speak fluently with rare repetition and self-correction, and he or she checks your ability to keep speaking without hesitation. And I have a video on how to speak fluently using four simple ways to stretch your answer. I'll leave you the link in the description box. Regarding coherence, the examiner will look at how consistent your answer is, which means how connected your ideas are, using linking words and phrases to connect your ideas and organize them and help you move from a point to another. Examples of linking words you can use first, second, third, however, although, well, I assume, next, after that, in other words. The second descriptor is lexical resource. Lexical resource means the vocabulary that you use while speaking. And here the examiner will consider the words you use, whether they are relevant to the topic, understandable, and help make your ideas clear. And of course, this includes the word forms you use. Word forms means verb, adjective, adverb, noun. For example, creation and creator are nouns. Create is the verb creative adjective, creatively is the adverb, and the use of collocations, and collocations means pairing, using words together. You say make a mistake, not do a mistake, well known, not highly known. And to improve your vocabulary, I have two videos on 50 synonyms for common simple adjectives in IELTS and how to avoid good and bad and use more synonyms for them. I'll leave you both links in the description box. Another point under the lexical resource is the idiomatic language, which means the use of idioms and phrases, which shows that you are natural with the language. For example, once in a blue moon, as easy as pie. And of course, you have to use idioms, especially if you are targeting higher than band seven. I also have a playlist of idioms. You can learn from them some idioms. I leave you the link in the description box as well. The fourth descriptor is grammatical range and accuracy. And this means the use of simple and complex sentences. And here the examiner will consider your ability to produce speech that's grammatically correct using both structures, simple and complex. For example, example A here shows the simple sentences. I live in a crowded city, full stop. It's well known for its beautiful architecture, full stop two simple sentences, but you can connect them and make one complex structure. Although I live in a crowded city, I still enjoy its fascinating architecture. Another point here is the number of errors. You have to be aware of the mistakes you make and try to avoid them. For example, articles, a, n, and the. Prepositions like listen to music, not listen music. Wait for me, not wait me. Subject verb agreement. My work provides me with, not provide me with. The fourth and last descriptor is pronunciation. And here we have some features that you have to be aware of. Syllable stress, which means you pronounce one word properly. Idea, not idea. Result, not result. Stress to contrast ideas. If you have to contrast ideas while speaking, you have to show the stress. I would rather freelance from home than work in an office. Intonation. Intonation means your tone. If you are speaking about something happy, you have to show it. Luckily, I pass my exams with flying colors. You show that you are excited. If it's sad, you have to show that you're sad. Pronunciation also means 
how well you are understood, how easy, clear, and correct you pronounce words. Now I'm going to show you an answer for this question. It's from a real IELTS test, and this is band 9 answer. The question is, what do you do in summer when it's very hot, and why? Well, summer is not my cup of tea. However, I do some activities to enjoy it. One of the things I do is going to the beach with my family where we can swim and surf as water activities are real fun. Besides, having some cold snacks such as ice cream is refreshing in such hot weather. Another thing I believe is highly significant to do in summer is staying under the sun, but not for too long, as it's the main source of vitamin D that our body needs to stay healthy. And if you analyze this answer, you will find idioms, you will find vocabulary related to the topic, like summer activities and summer. It's a grammatically correct. We have complex sentences using however, besides as linking words. And of course, the pronunciation is correct. That's all for this video. I hope you find it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to watch my new videos.